Hello, in this video I will show uh, the design of two-stage power conversion for grid-connected PV. In my previous videos I used single-stage uh, power conversion for both grid-connected and uh, standalone PV systems. I use a maximum power to point tracking algorithm and in this video I will use same algorithm and also I will use a boost converter for DC side and I will use a, a grid connected inverter for AC side uh, I will combine both inverter and converter uh, in a common DC point then uh, we will provide the power transfer from PV to grid by using two stage power conversion uh, first I would like to change the settings of uh, simulation file fixed step and discrete and here I want to use a variable here and TS sampling time and we need a power V block ok we should use same parameter and TS ok uh, firstly I would like to put all the components to simulation file then I will uh, explain the uh, design of the converter and inverter side filter and other parameters ok now we need a PV I want to design a 50 kilowatt uh, model uh, so 17 uh, parallel and 14 series PV uh, panel and uh, we may check the maximum power curves as here 50 kilowatt at uh, 46 volt ok it is ready now Uh, now we should put the uh, boost converter to here and first RLC input inductance of boost converter L boost uh, I used a variable in here uh, I will uh, show the calculation of uh, converter and inverter parameters now L boost then I want to use a capacitor in here RC1 E-4 and 100 E-6 so uh, 100 microfarad then we can connect the uh, photovoltaic mod uh, photovoltaic group to here ok now we need an IGBT ok and a diode and last one output capacitor C C boost ok now uh, this point is our bus DC bus and we may need to measure this point I want to put a 
current measurement to here and we may need and we may need this one okay and I go to block V bus okay DC site is ready now uh, we should put a inverter uh, to here and universal bridge uh, okay we should rotate it and this one yes Okay, we should change the RGB key, yes, with diodes, and we need a filter, RLC, I want to use three phase, yes, this one. just L and L F okay uh, we need a measurement block at this point and I want to use label okay Okay, right now we need a grid, uh, so voltage source, mm, yes this one, I want to rotate it up down, okay, this is a grid and we should change the parameter and 50 hertz okay we can remove this it seems okay now yes the model is ready now uh, uh, we can back to first point we need a uh, irradiation most of you know uh, I'm using a signal builder yes this is irradiation curve I will apply uh, this to PV panel then uh, I will check the maximum power point rating method also we need a temperature uh, we can define it in a constant now we need some uh, parameters of uh, photovoltaic group we need a bus select and VPV and IPV okay VPV IPV uh, here I forgot 
this stick uh, actually uh, we should take this one uh, if we uh, if we forgot this uh, the simulation model may give an error okay then here we need a false modulation signal for uh, from we may say false modulation boost okay i want to change it is color we need a signal for here then i want to check other parts okay we need a uh, gate signal for uh, inverter and a new from block and pulse Okay. Uh, background color. Okay, we may use this one. Now all the system is ready. Now uh, we may start to uh, design part. Now uh, design of boost converter. So DC side and boundary indu inductance. Uh, we can calculate the boundary inductance by using this equation. Here D is uh, duty. We can calculate the duty ratio with this. And then uh, this is minimum uh, capacitor value. And actually both of the L and L boundary and C mean uh, minimum values we should select a big value then these two and also uh, filter inductance for inverter side I define it uh, by LF uh, we can calculate uh, inductor uh, inductance by using this equation and I used the equation in my uh, one of my paper you may find the equations okay now I type uh, an M file uh, TS sampling time if you remember I uh, define it in simulation file and our rated power uh, 50 kilowatts and our grid voltage is uh, 380 volt and our grid frequency 50 hertz and inverter side switching frequency 5 kilohertz and the equation is here uh, here uh, p divide 3 p divide 3 for uh, phase A uh, it means we will calculate the uh, inductance value for uh, each phase because of this I use it P divide 3 and it will give LF then in this part design of boost converter uh, we need some parameter v in and v out and uh, v in actually v in our input voltage here so it means pv voltage okay we can get it from here i will calculate all the parameters for rated power 
406 volt and we may type it to here and the VBUS reference it is reference voltage for uh, bus point and here it's reference I want to use 800 volt I will explain the details of this selection in the control part okay now here is ready and other equations are here here boundary and distance and the minimum capacitor value uh, I would like to select uh, a big value from this one L boost the boundary inductance uh, will keep the uh, input current keep the input current of uh, boost converter uh, above just above of the uh, zero uh, because of that this uh, I would like to reduce the uh, ripple and I want to select 10 times bigger than boundary it will reduce the uh, current ripple on uh, IL and uh, the minimum capacitor for boost converter uh, 769 microfarad I want to select a standard value and also big from the minimum and E minus big okay now both parameters are here and also L okay now we may uh, back to simulation side and okay, we may check is there any problem no okay now all the parameters are calculated and we not need this one now we can start the uh, control side uh, we need a maximum power point tracking control at this point uh, if you remember I, I was used at this block and I will share this block uh, below the video and also the signal builder and here we should uh, apply PV voltage and also PV current also we need a delta and constant okay maximum power point tracking control side is ready and uh, sorry we need a go to block and beauty we should convert the duty to pass modulation signal and I want to use a PWM block for DC yes here okay and TS okay uh, the control of PV side is ready now then we need uh, a controller for AC side
Firstly, I would like to talk about the combined power converters. Uh, in the control of power converters, uh, our mean is to keep the system stable. Actually, we should consume all the generated power from PV. Uh, in the DC side, the generated power uh, will be transferred to DC bus here and by a boost converter and maximum power point tracking algorithm. In the AC side, the inverter will transfer the power from DC bus to the grid. If you remember, uh, I generated a reference current by maximum power point tracking algorithm in my previous video, but it was possible by a, a single stage power conversion. But here we want to increase the PV voltage and we should transfer all the power to grid by inverter. So our balance point uh, is the DC bus and if we keep the DC bus voltage constant the system uh, will be balanced or will be stable also the transfer transfer power uh, will just depend uh, to current if we keep it constant the transfer power will uh, just depend on the current uh, we can think that uh, if the generated power increase the boost converter want to increase the dc bus voltage uh, but uh, if we put a control algorithm for inverter uh, for keep bus voltage as constant uh, the controller want to keep dc bus voltage constant to do this inverter should increase the transfer current uh, so that bus voltage will reduce or it will be constant okay uh, let's start the design uh, such a controller first uh, we should compare the bus voltage with a reference give us ref we need an error signal in here uh, We should select a reference for bus. I want to define it in constant. Uh, we should think that uh, the bus voltage should uh, bigger than the uh, needed DC voltage for inverter. Uh, so the inverter. Uh, the voltage source inverter is a book type inverter and uh, we can obtain a lower uh, peak voltage at the output of the filter and it should uh, a big value from the uh, AC side so I want to uh, define 800 volt here and now we have an error between VBUS and its reference and uh, we can apply it to a PI controller okay, PI and discrete time PS 20 time bigger than TS and I will uh, select proportional and integral parameters for the first PI controller I tried some uh, value before and I select uh, these two 0 0.15 and 80 Okay, 
as I said before, uh, the uh, transfer of power will be uh, depend on uh, the voltage error. And now we need to go to block here. Its name I ID ref. Okay, I want to change it is color. Okay, now we have a, a reference current. Uh, we should uh, put a controller uh, to track this one. And this is our reference. And also uh, we need measured current. But uh, this current is in AC waveform, but we generate this one in uh, DC waveform. Uh, so we need a DQ zero transfer. And uh, ABC to DQ. Okay. Now it is measured current. And we need this one. Okay, we may get this one by PLL and it should be for three phase. Uh, some of uh, some of you select this one and uh, the simulation gives an error please uh, be sure it for three phase and we should uh, apply to it v a b c okay and here d q n zero we may use demos with the three outputs okay and here id and iq we not need to zero Okay, now we can compare ID and its reference, and we need a new PI controller, and it will uh, generate a signal for modulation. D M. Okay, this one is another important uh, signal, and also uh, we may use uh, same structure for uh, Q part and. IQ and uh, IQ uh, determines the uh, reactive side of uh, transferred current and uh, our main aim is to uh, transfer active power and I want to select zero its reference and uh, Q M. This is another important uh, parameter for AC site, and 
Kuri. QM. Okay. And uh, we have DM, so D parameter of modulation signal and QM for uh, of Q parameter of uh, modulation signal. Uh, we should use at the Q zero to A B C. Yeah, and a mux with three inputs. So I uh, will uh, combine three parameters. Okay, and I will apply it to the Q transform and this one I think I forgot to change its sampling time okay is there any sampling time no no okay we should change the uh, pi parameters and it is faster than uh, this one okay 0 0.005 and one and the next one 0 0.01 and one and we should change its sampling okay now everything seems ready uh, but here i would like to explain some critical points yeah idea ref uh, so we didn't uh, saturate we didn't use any saturation for this point so it may increase uh, very to very big values uh, I want to use saturation block here 150 ampere it is our maximum and I want to use a saturation for modulation parameters 1.2 and one, uh, minus 1.2 we may, may we may use same parameter for Q part okay now uh, we have a modulation signal uh, at here I want to change it M and also this, this is our uh, another important parameter for AC side okay now we have a modulation signal and we can convert it to uh, positive modulation signal to control the inverter current and we need a positive modulation block uh, to level okay and we should change the parameters 5 kilo Hertz and sampling time. I think it's okay now. Okay, it is connected to inverter bridge. Now the control part uh, seems ready, but I want to explain uh, a point. Uh, we should think some uh, operational uh, behaviors for example we applied a signal to PV here yeah uh, the PV uh, the radiance will be zero for uh, a long time and then it will start to increase at, at this point uh, the generated power will be zero and also 
the boost converter cannot uh, transfer any power to VBUS but uh, during this time the PID, PI controller will be uh, work and uh, it uh, want to it try to uh, it try to fix the uh, VBUS to uh, its reference but it cannot be possible because the generated power zero uh, in here uh, the PI controller will work and uh, it will saturate then uh, the generated power will start to increase and the boost converter will transfer the power to bus and uh, the bus voltage will start to increase 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 and it may uh, it may increase but at, at this time uh, the PI controller cannot be uh, start to transfer the power to grid why because uh, the PI controller saturated so we cannot uh, wait uh, at this time because the DC bus voltage may uh, increase to very big value so uh, we should uh, reset the PI controller and I want to select rising edge okay we should define a condition to reset PI, PI controller and first I want to put all the uh, blocks and then I want to explain this part okay we should uh, consider VBUS voltage also uh, its reference uh, we should compare it and okay it is comparators okay now and I want to put again 1.05 So it means 5% uh, bigger than uh, defined reference, so uh, 840 volts. Here, if the VBUS voltage uh, bigger than the 840 volts, the reset, uh, the signal will be 1 and the PI controller will reset. Okay, if it will reset. Uh, the PI controller start again with the initial conditions so it means that the PI controller will start again and the control all the control operation will start again uh, and uh, actually uh, we put this one this part for uh, since the V bus have any power or not we will sense by using this part and uh, the control part uh, start after the uh, these conditions okay and this part is completed and now we should put a scope to see the signals Six input. Okay, and I want to change its style and black. Okay. ABC current is important for us also ID ref and uh, VWAS and we may check IPV so it will show the effectiveness of the boost uh, design of boost converter 
and uh, we may put some power parameters uh, like PV power so we should calculate it and we should multiply VPV and IPV and it will give PPV okay PPV is here and also we may uh, calculate maximum power by using irradiation irradiation and uh, to calculate it we need a gain also we should know that uh, the maximum power at one kilowatt uh, per square meter okay kilowatts okay it is uh, maximum power and also uh, we may calculate P and Q value for uh, AC site and active and deactive power three phase okay V A B C I A B C and we need to go to block P inverter okay and Q inverter and okay now we may put this to here and also THD is another uh, important parameter for uh, the system and THD THD 50 has um, TS okay I want to calculate THD for a single phase and first language and also we need a block THD I okay I think these are enough uh, we may use some multiplexer with currents and also PV powers we may put together P and Q parameter of inverter okay then a PV V bus A B C and I ref V bus I P V P P V P M P P and P inverter 
and Q inverter and PHD okay Okay, I think uh, the model is ready. Okay, now uh, we can check the simulation. change the style I think we have some problems with the signals so it is in uh, watt and also THD uh, increasing okay we may uh, check these parts okay now THD actually the THD is uh, low at here when the uh, power transfer uh, is realized from the uh, PV to grid but other part is implicit so we can use a saturation to see the signal in a limited range uh, 15 and 0 THD and also here uh, in watts again and also PV power PPV and P inverter and Q inverter. Okay, it seems okay, and we should change the range, time range. Okay, four.
okay now the power is zero okay now it start yes uh, firstly I would like to talk about this part uh, in this part uh, the bus uh, capacitor is empty so uh, it has no voltage uh, and uh, when the uh, system is start to work uh, the capacitor voltage uh, want to charge uh, from the grid so that uh, the grid current is increasing increase a big value like this and then uh, the uh, the voltage is stable here and also uh, the grid current is zero here uh, we can see similar uh, thing at here and also i want to show legend yeah okay Yeah, now uh, we can check other parts. We can see that the uh, transferred grid current, like uh, the PV power, so the red one uh, is the ideal uh, maximum power. The PPV uh, calculated from output of uh, PV uh, panel group and PMPP is calculated by using radiation so red one is ideal and the blue one is uh, calculated uh, it seems uh, the MPPT algorithm is works well and also uh, this one this blue one is transferred active power so uh, inverter power inverter power uh, like uh, PV power it is very similar and also the uh, reactive power uh, injected uh, to, to or from grid uh, reactive power is zero around zero and we want to we only want to uh, control the uh, active power or transfer active power we want to uh, zero reactive power and uh, another parameter IPV IPV is uh, PV current the PV current is important for us why because uh, we calculate the uh, inductor uh, and capacitor parameter of uh, boost converter we may check this part the uh, current ripple on the uh, IPV increase uh, maximum uh, 15 ampere 15 ampere maximum and uh, we may reduce it but i think is it is enough we may reduce it uh, we said that uh, we want to reduce to a uh, boundary current uh, 10 times we want to reduce 10 times and also if we think that uh, 120 ampere is uh, around here at the maximum uh, we uh, we reduce it uh, 10 times we may check the uh, THDs uh, to see the effect of output side filter so now uh, when the power transfer is start here uh, the THD becomes uh, to reduce and uh, at the rated power it is important for us because all the uh, THD uh, can measure for uh, rated power value at this point our maximum power or rated power here around 3 uh, we may reduce it by uh, increasing uh, filter but we should uh, think that uh, the uh, 
the uh, efficiency will reduce and also we should check VBUS this is very important for us actually all the control based on uh, VBUS so we said uh, if we balance the uh, both uh, boost converter and inverter at uh, the DC point maximum power will transfer we want to keep this uh, this uh, bus voltage at 800 volt just I select this one I will change it and uh, it shows the system uh, the system stable why because the uh, bus voltage is around uh, 800 volt so uh, it is only value uh, we may reduce it maybe Six hundred and fifty. Okay, now I will start with the six hundred and fifty V bus reference. So it will uh, it will uh, fix it to six hundred and fifty to here. Okay. Now the PV start to generate power and also VBUS is increased up to here and now uh, the generated power is increasing and also uh, transferred power is increasing increased to a grid and also bus voltage I want to show just this part yeah, I should zoom okay 650 volt okay uh, we may wait end of simulation so just uh, I want to uh, show uh, this value is not so much important but we should select this uh, in a logical range I will uh, say the logical range after the simulation and uh, and here I want to say I want to talk about something the uh, reset at this point if you if you check that this point uh, at this point the uh, algorithm uh, at the AC side the algorithm is uh, the PI controller uh, the reset signal is generated and the, P the PI controller is resetted and also a uh, then the PI controller start to work Be actually before before the PV uh, start to generate power but uh, the bus voltage is increasing increasing uh, fastly and also then uh, the PI controller start to work it generate a, a reference uh, inverter transfer to power from bus to grid then uh, bus voltage reduce it and also uh, it fix it to 650 volt yeah simulation is finished yeah it tracks to 650 around here yeah we can check that uh, THD reduce it because modulation uh, signal is uh, now I think increased uh, 
because we we reduced the bus voltage and also the uh, maximum power point curve similar and transfer that uh, current similar actually all of these similar we just change the uh, bus voltage and last I want to show uh, the logical selection of logical bus reference I separate the inverter and the converter so now uh, the capacitor bus capacitor will uh, charge by grid voltage we will see the peak value of the uh, voltage now you can see here Yeah, it will down to any value uh, around uh, 555 around it and uh, I want to say that uh, we should select uh, bigger uh, bus reference uh, than 600 volt so if we select bigger value it is okay for us but if we select uh, for example 500 it cannot provide the required DC voltage uh, to generate equal voltage with the grid uh, and uh, the system cannot be uh, trans cannot transfer any power from the bus to grid Okay, our system complete view of our system. Yeah. I hope it will help you and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.